Hello, hello, beautiful, blessed people. Kijon Ye, Sapate. Hope all is well. If not, sending so much love to you today. It is a Mars day when I like to come on and do the Oracle message of the week uh, for you. And I have a very special um, message from you all. But happy Tuesday. Happy Mars day. How's it going? How are you feeling? I know we are just coming off of the Gemini first quarter moon and how is that for y'all how is that for y'all i know for me as a gemini sun it was very intense <laughs> it was intense but intense for like all the right reasons so many beautiful conversations gemini chatting it up and exploring different things about myself so when i think about let's just talk about it a little bit okay my intention today is to um give you a human design um or a message from actually the angels the angels showed up and showed out got mark Archangel Michael right here popping up and he came through the energy of the bottom of the deck but the angels had a message and I know Archangel Michael has definitely been speaking this week and I really feel like we'll get into that but the intention <laughs> for this reading is a message from our angels from our angels um for this week and for this season we're about to enter march so this could be like a little intro to um the month so take it as you will and know that these messages um are for each human design type based on your each human design type but i feel like we all have each of those human design types within us so feel free to just read or listen only to your human design type or to dibble dabble into some maybe you're a manifesting generator like me so you really want to hear the manifestors message as well as the generators message um but then also want to hear the reflectors message to see what the reflector might be reflecting back to the collective you are a sovereign being the power is yours use this message how you will if you just wanted to listen to your message this week and then maybe come back later this is a timeless message from the angels um are giving us a message an oracle message for this time and place wherever you find this but i will be sharing the astrology weather for the moment um and yeah so let's get into it. Let's get into it. Like I said in the beginning of the video, we're coming off of the first quarter um, moon in Gemini energy. And when we think about the first quarter moon, the first quarter moon, I've heard it described as the first responders in a situation. So we have the new moon where we planted seeds, right? We planted new affirmations and things that we wanted to see grow. We have the waxing moon, which is the moon is giving some light, giving some inspiration, giving some hope, desires to some of those dreams. The first quarter moon is kind of like split. So we kind of see half of the story, right? So when I think of, so the first quarter moon being a responder, so based on what has been illuminated, what we're working towards, it's time to take action. It's time to evaluate. Are we on the right track based on kind of what's coming on up in the first quarter moon? A lot of things might pop up in order for you to kind of get clear on how you need to take action moving forward towards the rest of the lunar cycle, right? So in Gemini, there might have been some communication, Mercury ruled, there might have been some information, some data, some conversations that might have been brought to the forefront that gives you you some ideas or inspiration on how to take action moving forward okay so that's the void course moon energy i or that's the first quarter in gemini moon energy i know later on today we um will enter the cancer moon and void of course cancer moon so void of course is really a great time especially after this first quarter moon in gemini to just like take a pause to sit with some of those feelings and emotions the moon is kind of like out of bounds that's what void of course moon means so 
it's a moment not to maybe take some action, but just to observe, knowing that things may be unclear right now, just like really observe in some of that, um, of, with some of those emotions that might be coming up and knowing that it's cancer, take time to nurture yourself during this what of course moon and into the um, rest of the cancer moon cycle, which I think will lead us into the uh, middle of the week and into the beginning of the month where we have some March y'all. Get ready, get ready, get ready for March because March is about to bring some major, major shifts to not only you personally, but the collective and society as a whole. We have, um, let's, let's, let's just get into it, shall we? Let's get into it because I took notes. You know, your Virgo mama took some notes. So, um, we have, what are the major energies coming in March? Yeah, March is bringing change, transformation, challenges, massive shift in the energy, massive shift. We have um, Mars leaving Gemini finally since August 2022. It's been retrograde, so it's finally leaving Gemini. Um, we have Saturn going into Pisces, and Saturn hasn't been in Pisces in 29 years. We, if you're... Um, have your Saturn in Pisces. Hello to your Saturn return. Welcome to your Saturn return. I'm sure you've been feeling some of those energies. Um, but yeah, we have Saturn in the Pisces. And like I said, Saturn hasn't been into Pisces since the last 30 years. And Saturn hasn't changed signs um, for the past two and a half to three years. So a lot of energies there. We have Pluto um, is moving into Aquarius for the first time in two hundred and fifty years. Two hundred and fifty years. We're gonna have a whole new generation. Pluto and Aquarius. I can't wait to see what this Pluto and Aquarius generation um is all about and it's all about. So all of those energies. So this week we're some of the major themes coming up this week is preparation for a launching energy. This week is great time to Think about what you want to launch, what you want to get out there. We've been talking so much about values, right? So based on your values, now that you've hopefully gotten clear on your values and really what you want, um, what do you want to launch? What do you want to share with the collective? Pluto and Aquarius, right? Knowing this massive change, it's going to it's gonna shift. Aquarius, it's like the collective, right? So what can you share based on your um, based on your um based on your um, values? What can you share with the collective? Because we need your medicine at this time. Please share your medicine at this time. And I'm speaking to me, myself too, because I know and I can feel it, especially after all the conversations I had during the first quarter moon in Gemini, how much um, based on my values, the collective needs some of the medicine and the, some of the gifts that I bring. So I'm using some of this energy this week to launch some things out i've already slowly started to trickle launching some of my soul love offerings and one of them is a freebie that you can get in the link of the bio it's a tool that you can use and it's housed in notion where most of my soul love offerings are housed so it kind of gets you used to how to um, work with notion or work within notion but it's a fabulous portal a fabulous workbook where you can dismantle and reprogram your mindset around wellness so you can not only do use this um journal prompt i i i, I take you on a journey a past present future journey of what you thought about wellness in the past what you're currently thinking about wellness and what you want your future intuitive wellness to feel like and um if your focus is not wellness not right now, switch out the word wellness. Maybe you want to put in relationship. Maybe you want to put in career. So how do you want to reprogram and dismantle your mindset about your career? Journey through the past to think about, you know, where, what people told you your career should look like. Um, and growing up, what would people tell you, you know, your career should look like in the present? What does your career look like right now? And if you could dream your wildest dream, based on that foundation of your values, how can you build a career, a legacy, um, show up in the public with this fully heart-centered passion and desires? This week, we also have this huge major conjunction with Venus 
and Jupiter and Vesta all in Aries. Vesta. Vesta is a beautiful asteroid. I love working with asteroids. And Vesta is a beautiful asteroid that speaks to the balance of your ambitions and your deep desires. So your ambitions and your deep desires to balance that out. In Aries, the so the baby of the zodiac, the initiator, the first step of the zodiac, right? So having all of these in mind, Jupiter is expanding what we are valuing what we are rooted in, what we love, what we adorn, what we want to attract, what is attracting us. Jupiter is bringing like a, like a big light, a magnifying glass, like really like expanding and really bringing out some of those things that we value, some of those Venus, some of those really putting the spotlight on our relationship, expanding our relationships based on what our deepest desires and our ambitions, like where we want to strive towards, where we want to get that in Aries. So this is great initiation starting energy, right? So this is also evidence in the bounty of our relationships, the bounty of our relationship. Again, Jupiter is like big, overflowing energy, right? So where do we see bounties in our relationship? Do we see bounties in an excess of love? Oh, that feels so beautiful. Do you see a bounty of maybe lack and um, self-criticism? Oh, maybe I need to bring some attention to that. Do I see a bounty in um, needing to call in some different relationship, wanting to manifest a different type of relationship? Again, we're seeing evidence of the bounty in different types of relationship, whether it be in partnerships, whether it be in relationship with your coworkers, whether it be in relationship with your child, whether it be in relationship with your partner, your husband, whoever. Um, we're just really, 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 really like feeling these energies heavy. Um, and we also have some healing going on this week with Chiron in the mix. We have um, Venus conjoining with Chiron in Aries at 14 degrees. So this is healing our relationships, not only our relationships with others, but our relationship with ourselves. Where can we be tender with ourselves? Where we can we um, nourish ourselves? Again, we have that Cancer moon coming up. It's time to nourish yourself, um, healing our relation relationships and finding that healer within. Chiron is the wounded healer from the he wounds that he had. He was able to work and try to figure out how he could heal himself through that struggle. He was able to collect so many gifts to help heal other people. I love the Chiron story. It's such a beautiful, heartbreaking, but beautiful story as well. So where can you use some of those woundings that you have in your past to help heal the collective and based on what you value at this time in your different relationships that show up? So I know for me, the wounding that has been happening or has happened to me, my Chiron is in Gemini in the 10th house. So Chiron being in Gemini for me natally, great time for you to look into your natal chart, check out in your natal chart to see where Chiron is. Where Chiron is, is like the hungry medium likes to say, is your mission work. It's the wounding work, but it's also your mission work. So again, for me, I know where Chiron is, is in fact my mission work. Not only is it in Gemini, but it is in my 10th house. So I know based on my wounding, I know I need to share. I know, I know that I might be well known um, about the wounding that I communicate, Gemini, that I share with others. And my wounding has a lot to do with communication. Growing up, I, I was always, I, had, I stuttered. I had a, a little bit of a speech impediment. Um, I felt like my words were um, never came out clearly what I was saying. I felt like people could never understand. And that was a big wounding um, in my, I, I, I needed, you know, test and um, studying was never easy for me and writing and all of those were never easy for me. I had to work super hard um, to, um, to, to communicate and to 
kind of feel like I could communicate in a way that other people can understand. I've worked so hard on that, but part of my wounding, wow, well, look at me, all like I'm here and on, you know, wherever platform, just sharing my message and communicating to the collective. And what I'm hearing back is how much my message resonates with people, how I can share the astrology, share human design in such an easy to understand way where my wounding the whole time growing up was me feeling like people just never understood me. People never understood and understood the way that I communicated. I had so, so many insecurities about the way that I communicated. So that is just one example of how Chiron um, um, works in um, works um, heal is such a healing gift for me in this time and in this place. Um, yeah, we have Vesta in 10 degrees focusing on our relationships and um, the bounty that we are in. Um, and I know Ceres as well is also retrograde, which Ceres is another astro planet that has to do with relationships as well. So it's retrograde. So all of these energies retrograde, making us, you know, re retracing the steps, looking back, taking a pause, reflecting. So it's asking us to reflect on our relationships at this time. I believe Ceres is retrograde in Libra, which is also about relationships, right? So knowing that we're working with all of these energies, the Venus conjoining with Jupiter, bringing good things. These are two, um, two beneficial like planets that love to give gifts. Jupiter loves to give a gift. Venus also loves to give like good, good gifts. So these are things, that, two planets that love to bring something to you. So they're bringing sweetness. They're bringing wisdom. They're bringing um, social connection to relationships. It's a great time to make art. It's a gig time again to launch some things out there. So look into your chart and see where Aries rules in your chart. Whatever Aries rules in your chart is where Jupiter and Venus is bringing something beautiful. Again, these two planets are neither good or bad or neither good or bad um it's 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 it just is right so um i listened to jessica Lignano's podcast and she talked a little bit about conjunctions because we know venus and jupiter are conjoining with each other right um along with um vesta so conjunctions are that when two energies of the planet so we got the energies of jupiter which is expansion of wisdom higher learning we have um the energies of, of venus which is values relationships beauty love when these two energies combine and they're talking to each other they're merging they're meeting up and having a serious conversation they're having a serious conversation for what for us to start something new for us to initiate new so what are these two planets gifting you in this area in this Aries part of your chart asking you to start something new Aries is the initiator is the planet that initiates something that starts something right and this happening in Aries is such a great um I feel like energy that we're going into the week with because we are starting new we know in march we're coming up in march this month this week this month is starting some new transformative energetic shifts in our collective so now is the time to focus on your emotional and mental health we have mercury entering to pisces um later on this month so really working on that mental and emotional health right and ways that you can do that is by getting additional guidance and messages from spirit. And so I know as we're entering these major shifts, these big shifts, I've been um, really feeling the angels heavily. The angels I love to call on for protection. I wake up every morning asking the angels to guide me in protection. Angels are energies of high vibrations of love and um, light. In our Buku Hoodoo um, book club, we um, last month or this month, we read a book called Ask Your Guides. Ask Your Guides. And in that book, um, we talked about all these different guides and how to connect with guides. And um, 
it was just such a beautiful journey. We learned about SOS guides, you know, um, your helper guides, your light beings, the light beings, all these angels and, um, and guides. And um, I feel like angels are truly guides for us, guides of the highest vibration, of the highest light. And I know for me, especially, I have a special connection with angels because um, my Virgo moon is in, I believe in two or three degrees i always get this mixed up but whatever degree that is in is the sabian symbol of two guardian angels and oh, i love that so i know angels ever since i was born i feel like have been just in my ethers in my ethers and i feel their presence strongly so this week we have a special message from the angels and like i said archangel michael is here protecting us all with his sword and his shield guiding us through this transitional time, the collective time. So Archangel Michael loves to make his presence known. So send some extra love and affection to Archangel Michael and thank him for his guidance and protection during this time, during this time. So let's talk a little bit about Archangels before we get into this Archangels. L in angels means shining bright, which I thought was really beautiful. And archangels are God's most important messengers and motivators, again, of the highest light. So God sends angels to us to give us different messages of high vibration and light, right? So that's just a little bit about angels. And then we'll get into the overall message for each, um, the overall message for the collective, because we know things are moving and shaking, right? As we enter the energies into March and all of these um, astrological shifts, we'll get the overall energies for this week and let's say going into the month. And then I'll break down each human design type. Um, I'll, I'll give a message from the angels based on each human design type. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, okay, let's get into it. Let's get into it. So again, for this message, I pulled, um, or for this week, I pulled cards for each human design type, which we'll be getting into later. So make sure that you check out your, um, your own personalized energy from the angels based on your human design type and if you don't know what human design is um check the description box there is um mybodygraph.com you can pull up your chart based on your birth information it will give you your human design and welcome to the world of human design if you need help diving deep and getting in if you want help reading your chart reach out to me i will be more than happy to um dive a little bit more and share information about your human design profile type and authority and non-self theme all of those i have a special soul love offering that i'm working on getting ready to launch when we um get into um hoping to launch it by the end of the week but if i don't feel free to reach out to me i'll be more than happy to get on a call talk to you about it but needless to say a message from the angels based on each human design type. I pulled the energy of the bottom of the deck after pulling each human design type. So this is what came up. And I think it, the energy on the bottom of the deck is perfect, is the angel of spiritual growth. And that is exactly what we are all doing, I feel like, as we are, all of these major planets are shifting. It's uplifting us or bringing us into awareness with our spiritual growth saturn into pisces very spiritual pluto into aquarius i feel like the water bearers of the higher mind innovative right all of these energies are very very spiritual we're in a freaking seven year in numerology seven year and i talk all about this in my seven personal year so if you want to hear what um seven and Actually, I'm wearing a very similar getup from that um, from that reading. So again, energy of spiritual growth, seven personal, um, seven collective year for everybody. But I talk about my seven personal year. So if you want to get an idea of what this energy is bringing in regards to spiritual growth, make sure you check out that video. But yeah, spiritual growth. Um, I don't know if I have the book release, but that is okay because we are using our intuition. 
but yeah spirit with your growth spirit's really saying or the angels are really saying it's time to really dive deep really get centered um and just be prepared <laughs> get centered and be prepared for the spiritual growth that the collective is about to experience again this is the overall energy for the week so i feel like this week spirit's really saying it's time to center yourself get centered and get ready because we are about to grow spiritually as a collective and yeah another angel um angel archangel metatron is coming up with the message as the dreamer of the fool. So as we enter this, I feel like the spiritual um, up leveling upgrade as a collective. Um, what are you dreaming of? What are you hoping of? Like before we take this leap of faith, um, and this is in the um, form of the fool card, the dreamer, Archangel Michael. A leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities. So before we take a leap of faith. What are you hoping for? Where are you grounded? Where are your values? Like, what do you really want to see from this spiritual up leveling of the collective? Where can you dream? Where can you take a leap of faith? Maybe in your spirituality where you may not have been scared before, but now you're seeing that spirituality is just like really available to you. You're seeing different signs, different synchronicities. The angels might be bringing different messages to you. And you're really like, okay. Maybe it is time for me to take a leap of faith and study a little bit more about angels. Maybe it is time for me to take a leap of faith and get into this thing they call human design. Maybe it is time to take a leap of faith and to study the transits, my personal transits in astrology. Where can you take a leap of faith for the spiritual growth that is happening now? And the angels are really saying to follow your dreams Take a leap of faith into following your own personal dreams, your own personal passions. Not what, you know, you're growing up. Your parents wanted you, the religion your parents wanted you to um, tap into growing up. Not the career that your parents wanted you to put you in. What do you want to do? Where can you follow your own dreams? Because unexpected opportunities are going to happen and going to come along the way. Unexpected opportunities. The dreamer, the dreamer as a collective. It's time for us to follow our dreams. We're ripping away what society says. We are ripping away. Saturn is leaving Capricorn, okay? And entering into Pisces. We're entering into those spiritual waters, leaving the structures and the restrictions and the traditions that Capricorn likes to, um, that Capricorn likes to, um, likes to Capricorn. I said Capricorn. Um, <laughs> my natal. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm speaking for myself, but um, that we're leaving, we're, my natal Saturn is in Capricorn, but we're leaving um, that Aquarius so that like Aquarius is very, um, they're, they think, right? And um, they're, they're air sign. They may not be as tapped into their emotional bodies as, um, as some of the other, you know, obviously water signs are, um, but they're like, they're future. They dream for the future. They, you know, very futuristic. So we're, we're, we see the future. Hopefully as, you know, Saturn is finishing his final degrees in, um, Aquarius, as we enter into Pisces, Hopefully you were able to dream a little bit to see how you want to structure and what boundaries you want to put into place before Saturn goes into Pisces. Because let me tell you, Pisces is boundaryless. Pisces is ruled by Neptune, which knows no bounds, right? So um, where can we follow our dreams, but also keeping that structure in place and knowing that it's time to take a leap of faith. So using some of that mind, some of those things, um, information, and some of the insights that you've gotten while Saturn is in Aquarius to use those to help you create structures and boundaries and spiritual protection, spiritual protection before we enter the boundary, boundary list season of um, Saturn and Pisces, right? And the angels are also saying yes. So yes to those passions, yes to those dreams, yes to those intuitions, yes to anything that you um, are wanting to kind of like manifest or produce right now. Spirit's really saying go with it. We have those, you know, energies this week in Aries, which is saying go, 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 go. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Yes, 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 yes. But I see here with um, 
this particular angel holding two things. It's all about balance, right? So knowing when to go and also knowing when to rest. Finding balance. Finding balance is so crucial to sustainability and we want to be able to sustain this whole period right in order to sustain we can't be doing all the time we need to rest this is why we have water course moons right this is why we have retrogrades because we can't just constantly be moving forward we need time to reflect and to retreat and to go back so remember that balance remember that balance but it's all a go okay yes 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 get those things out that you know that you've been working on get it out launch it just even communicate it if it's not ready to be launched just say hey collective i'm launching some soul love offerings make sure you check it out it's coming subscribe to my newsletter you know do what you need to do to connect with the collective so that you can take that leap of faith to follow your dreams for those unexpected opportunities but the angels are really saying yes 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 patience is needed though patience is needed again i see here the first thing that i think of when i look at this i don't even know what this bird is i'm sorry y'all um swan swan um balance i see balance again right one foot above the water one foot um in the water but this bird is truly balanced it's balanced and it's also patient as well it, it things are foggy Things may not be necessarily clear. Again, we're getting some of that light. We're heading towards these, you know, these new chapters out of the retrograde season. So the light is coming out, but still things are not clear. We're not sure. You see like they're blocked by these um, sticks or, or bushes or fog or yeah, the foggy bog. So the fog, like things are not completely clear yet. But one thing that you know is that it's coming. The light is coming. Things are getting clear, but still patience is needed in this time. Yes, we're initiating. We're going, going, going. But know that everything's not going to happen all at once. I mean, Lord knows we don't want it to happen all at once, right? We want to have patience. We want to get the insights while we're in the fog. While we're in the fog, while things are not unclear, where can we find balance? Where can we stabilize? Where can we ground in that patience, right? ground in that patience and y'all guess what we had for the new moon in Pisces guess what we had for that manifesting affirmations card that was on the bottom of the deck once I pulled each card the new moon in Pisces so the new moon in Pisces attuned to the divine attuned to the divine is just telling me that um this new moon in Pisces, and I felt it, and I don't know if y'all can, if y'all felt it, and y'all, the song that keeps playing in, in, in my subconscious, like, keeps repeating and over and over is, can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? All the children of the world should be loving each other in harmony. Spiritual growth, the collective, all the collective, we're getting this up leveling. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? And I feel like this new moon in Pisces really helped us attune to the divine, tune into the divine and to, you know, spirituality, awaken the collective to all of these spiritualities, all of the divine, the divine blessings, the divine support, the divine encouragement, the divine um, abundance that is available to us now. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Listen to that song today. Listen to that song. I don't know if it's Michael Jackson or the Jackson 5, but ah, tell me, can you feel it? Oh yeah, can you feel it? Can you feel it? Y'all, I can't sing, so my apologies for that. But let's get some additional message. From our angels, angels, do you have any additional message for us in regards to our spiritual growth and the collective up leveling? Yeah, yeah, we have Ace of Pentacles and um, the, the Fool, y'all, get ready, get ready for this journey. The angels are really asking us to take a leap of faith now. Take a leap of faith. New insights are being brought to us, yellow. New communications, new um, downloads and vitality and all of those things are shining up on us now. The spiritual realm, the divine entering in Pisces season. Our ancestors, our angels, our guides, our light beings are all here saying, we're around. We're around. Are you ready to take a leap of faith? Are you ready to take a leap into those 
uncharted waters to tune into the divine that the new moon in Pisces initiated? Are you ready to take a leap of faith? Because let me tell you, when you take a leap of faith, Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning, a new beginning of something tangible that you can hold in your hand, something tangible that you can hold in your hand based on your dreams is coming. It's coming. It's coming. Some extra stability, some extra resources, finances, money, values, right? Make sure that you have your values in your hand, right? Those values is the currency, is the, because doors are opening for you. Walk into that doorway now. Walk into that doorway now. Take a leap of faith. The first step is to take a leap of faith to follow your dreams, right? Know that you're supported. You have guardian angels next to you. This dog is a companion. Guardian angels are companions. I know they've been companions for me. Um, when I felt the most loneliest in my time and during some of my depressive states, the angels were my companion. Call on the angels. They are here for you. All you have to do is call and ask and they will be there, right? Um, and Empress popping up is also saying that it's time to create. It's time to create, to work, to manifest, to um, gestate some of those things that you value, Venus, right? Those things that you value, what can you create? What can you work on to birth in the world? Again, she's not, it's not a new baby in her hand. She's leaning back. She's being aware of all the luxuries that Venus in um, Venus and Jupiter conjunction is bringing to her this week. You know, being very aware to the gifts and all the luxury, the luxury and abundance she has around her, right? She's really being aware because, okay, I'm aware and I'm tuning in. Do you see her face? She's tuning in, being very aware and tuning in. Why? Because she knows she's getting ready to create, to birth something in this world. So really tune in. Be aware, keep your eyes open to the divine, to uh, different messages, to different information that could be out there because you're getting ready to birth something. You're getting ready to birth something. And right now, the angels are really giving you guidance and support, saying, call on me. I'm here for your support because the collective is upgrading spiritually and... Um, they want they want to they want to assist they want to help they want to guide and they want to um help you birth whatever you are meant to birth in this world and they're giving you support and guidance and some gifts during this time during this week so that's the message from the collective or for the collective and um now we'll get into each human design type starting with manifesting i'll see you there okay okay let's get into it let's get into it so again for this message i pulled um or for this week i pulled cards for each human design type which we'll be getting into later so make sure that you check out your um your own personalized energy from the angels based on your human design type and if you don't know what human design is um check the description box. There is um, mybodygraph.com. You can pull up your chart based on your birth information. It will give you your human design and welcome to the world of human design. If you need help diving deep and getting in, if you want help reading your chart, reach out to me. I will be more than happy to um, dive a little bit more and share information about your human design profile type and authority and non-self theme all of those i have a special soul love offering that i'm working on getting ready to launch when we um get into um hoping to launch it by the end of the week but if i don't feel free to reach out to me i'll be more than happy to get on a call talk to you about it but needless to say a message from the angels based on each human design type. I pulled the energy of the bottom of the deck after pulling each human design type. So this is what came up. And I think it, the energy on the bottom of the deck is perfect, is the angel of spiritual growth. And that is exactly what we are all doing, I feel like, as we are, all of these major planets are shifting. It's 
uplifting us or bringing us into awareness with our spiritual growth. Saturn into Pisces, very spiritual. Pluto into Aquarius, I feel like the water bearers of the higher mind, innovative, right? All of these energies are very, very spiritual. We're in a freaking seven year in numerology seven year and i talk all about this in my seven personal year so if you want to hear what um seven and actually i'm wearing a very similar get up from that um from that reading so again energy of spiritual growth seven personal um seven collective year for everybody but i talk about my seven personal year so if you want to get an idea of what this energy is bringing in regards to spiritual growth make sure you check out that video but yeah, spiritual growth. Um, I don't know if I have the book release, but that is okay because we are using our intuition. But yeah, spiritual growth. Spirit's really saying, or the angels are really saying, it's time to really dive deep, really get centered, um, and just be prepared. <laughs> get centered and be prepared for the spiritual growth that the collective is about to experience again this is the overall energy for the week so i feel like this week spirit's really saying it's time to center yourself get centered and get ready because we are about to grow spiritually as a collective and yeah another angel um angel archangel metatron is coming up with the message as the dreamer of the fool. So as we enter this, I feel like the spiritual um, up leveling upgrade as a collective. Um, what are you dreaming of? What are you hoping of? Like before we take this leap of faith, um, and this is in the um, form of the fool card, the dreamer, Archangel Michael. A leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities. So before we take a leap of faith. What are you hoping for? Where are you grounded? Where are your values? Like, what do you really want to see from this spiritual up-leveling of the collective? Where can you dream? Where can you take a leap of faith? Maybe in your spirituality where you may not have been scared before, but now you're seeing that spirituality is just like really available to you. You're seeing different signs, different synchronicities. The angels might be bringing different messages to you. And you're really like, okay, Maybe it is time for me to take a leap of faith and study a little bit more about angels. Maybe it is time for me to take a leap of faith and get into this thing they call human design. Maybe it is time to take a leap of faith and to study the transits, my personal transits in astrology. Where can you take a leap of faith for the spiritual growth that is happening now? And the angels are really saying to follow your dreams Take a leap of faith into following your own personal dreams, your own personal passions. Not what, you know, you're growing up. Your parents wanted you, the religion your parents wanted you to um, tap into growing up. Not the career that your parents wanted you to put you in. What do you want to do? Where can you follow your own dreams? Because unexpected opportunities are going to happen and going to come along the way. Unexpected opportunities. The dreamer, the dreamer as a collective. It's time for us to follow our dreams. We're ripping away what society says. We are ripping away. Saturn is leaving Capricorn, okay? And entering into Pisces. We're entering into those spiritual waters, leaving the structures and the restrictions and the traditions that Capricorn likes to, um, that Capricorn likes to, um, likes to Capricorn. I said Capricorn. Um, <laughs> my natal. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm speaking for myself, but um, that we're leaving, we're, my natal Saturn is in Capricorn, but we're leaving um, that Aquarius so that like Aquarius is very, um, they're, they think, right? And um, they're, they're air sign. They may not be as tapped into their emotional bodies as, um, as some of the other, you know, obviously water signs are, um, but they're like, they're future. They dream for the future. They, you know, very futuristic. So we're, we're, we see the future. Hopefully as, you know, Saturn is finishing his final degrees in um, Aquarius, as we enter into Pisces, 
hopefully you were able to dream a little bit to see how you want to structure and what boundaries you want to put into place before Saturn goes into Pisces. Because let me tell you, Pisces is boundaryless. Pisces is ruled by Neptune, which knows no bounds, right? So um, where can we follow our dreams, but also keeping that structure in place and knowing that it's time to take a leap of faith. So using some of that mind, some of those things, um, information, and some of the insights that you've gotten while Saturn is in Aquarius to use those to help you create structures and boundaries and spiritual protection, spiritual protection before we enter the boundary, boundary list season of um, Saturn and Pisces, right? And the angels are also saying yes. So yes to those passions, yes to those dreams, yes to those intuitions, yes to anything that you um, are wanting to kind of like manifest or produce right now. Spirit's really saying go with it. We have those, you know, energies this week with any Aries, which is saying, go, 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 do it, do it, do it, do it. Yes, 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 yes. But I see here with um, this particular angel holding two things. It's all about balance, right? So knowing when to go and also knowing when to rest, finding balance, finding balance is so crucial to sustainability. And we want to be able to sustain this whole period, right? In order to sustain, we can't be doing all the time. We need to rest. This is why we have water course moons, right? This is why we have retrogrades because we can't just constantly be moving forward. We need time to reflect and to retreat and to go back. So remember that balance. Remember that balance, but it's all a go, okay? Yes, yes, yes. Get those things out that you know that you've been working on. Get it out. Launch it. Just even communicate it. If it's not ready to be launched, just say, hey, collective, I'm launching some soul love offerings. Make sure you check it out. It's coming. Subscribe to my newsletter. You know, do what you need to do to connect with the collective so that you can take that leap of faith to follow your dreams for those unexpected opportunities. But the angels are really saying yes, 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 yes. Patience is needed, though patience is needed. Again, I see here the first thing that I think of when I look at this, I don't even know what this bird is. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, swan? Swan? Um, balance. I see balance again, right? One foot above the water, one foot um, in the water, but this bird is truly balanced. It's balanced and it's also patient as well. It, it, things are foggy. Things may not be necessarily clear. Again, we're getting some of that light. We're heading towards these, you know, these new chapters out of the retrograde season. So the light is coming out, but still things are not clear. We're not sure. You see like they're blocked by these um, sticks or, or bushes or fog or yeah, the foggy bog. So the fog, like things are not completely clear yet. But one thing that you know is that it's coming. The light is coming. Things are getting clear, but still patience is needed in this time. Yes, we're initiating. We're going, going, going. But know that everything's not going to happen all at once. I mean, Lord knows we don't want it to happen all at once, right? We want to have patience. We want to get the insights while we're in the fog. While we're in the fog, while things are not unclear, where can we find balance? Where can we stabilize? Where can we ground in that patience, right? ground in that patience and y'all guess what we had for the new moon in Pisces guess what we had for that manifest and affirmations card that was on the bottom of the deck once I pulled each card the new moon in Pisces so the new moon in Pisces attuned to the divine attuned to the divine is just telling me that um this new moon in Pisces, and I felt it, and I don't know if y'all can, if y'all felt it, and y'all, the song that keeps playing in, in, in my subconscious, like, keeps repeating and over and over is, can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? All the children of the world should be loving each other in harmony. Spiritual growth, the collective, all the collective, we're getting this up leveling. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? And I feel like this new moon in Pisces really helped us attune to the divine, tune into the divine and to, you know, spirituality, awaken the collective to all of these spiritualities, all of the divine, the divine blessings, the divine support, the divine encouragement, the divine um, abundance. That is available to us now. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? 
listen to that song today listen to that song i don't know if it's michael jackson or the jackson five but ah tell me can you feel it oh yeah can you feel it can you feel it y'all i can't sing so my apologies for that but let's get some additional message from our angels angels do you have any additional message for us in regards to our spiritual growth in the collective up leveling yeah yeah we have ace of pentacles and um the, the fool y'all get ready get ready for this journey the angels are really asking us to take a leap of faith now take a leap of faith new insights are being brought to us yellow new communications new um downloads and vitality and all of those things are shining up on us now the spiritual realm the divine entering in pisces season our ancestors our angels our guides our light beings are all here saying we're around we're around are you ready to take a leap of faith are you ready to take a leap into those uncharted waters to tune into the divine that the new moon in pisces initiated are you ready to take a leap of faith because let me tell you when you take a leap of faith ace of pentacles a new beginning a new beginning of something tangible that you can hold in your hand something tangible that you can hold in your hand based on your dreams is coming it's coming it's coming some extra stability some extra resources finances money values right make sure that you have your values in your hand right those values is the currency is the, because doors are opening for you walk into that doorway now walk into that doorway now take a leap of faith the first step is to take a leap of faith to follow your dreams right know that you're supported you have guardian angels next to you this dog is a companion guardian angels are companions i know they've been companions for me um when i felt the most loneliest in my time and during some of my depressive states the angels were my companion Call on the angels. They are here for you. All you have to do is call and ask and they will be there, right? Um, and Empress popping up is also saying that it's time to create. It's time to create, to work, to manifest, to um, gestate some of those things that you value, Venus, right? Those things that you value, what can you create? What can you work on to birth in the world? Again, she's not, it's not a new baby in her hand. She's leaning back. She's being aware of all the luxuries that venus in um venus and jupiter conjunction is bringing to her this week you know being very aware to the gifts and all the luxury the luxury and abundance she has around her right she's really being aware because okay i'm aware and i'm tuning in do you see her face she's tuning in being very aware and tuning in why because she knows she's getting ready to create to birth something in this world so really tune in be aware keep your eyes open to the divine to uh, different messages to different information that could be out there because you're getting ready to birth something you're getting ready to birth something and right now the angels are really giving you guidance and support saying call on me i'm here for your support because the collective is upgrading spiritually and um they want they want to they want to assist they want to help they want to guide and they want to um help you birth whatever you are meant to birth in this world and they're giving you support and guidance and some gifts during this time during this week so that's the message from the collective or for the collective and um, now we'll get into each human design type, starting with manifestors. I'll see you there. Hello, hello, my beautiful manifestors. Welcome to your full in-depth message based on your human design type, special message from the angels. And angels and the angels this week this moment whenever you're finding this their message for you is courage and bravery courage and bravery so manifestors where are you needing to put your shields up where are you needing to 
have the courage to get the courage within you now the angels are saying call on us if you're needing a little bit of extra courage and bravery call on us ask us put your shield up and get ready for battle because you're getting ready to get into something getting ready to get into something and your angels are saying that we are here to help be that protective shield for you be that protective guide for you as you have the courage to do something new, to explore something new that you maybe haven't done before. And um, special message from your angels are here to remind you that your soul cannot be tarnished when you're getting in and about to do that thing, manifesting that thing or harmed. It's part of your essence and one that always remains whole, healed and complete. So if you're feeling a need to defend yourself at this time and you, and you don't need to protect yourself, especially when you have spiritual support. Call on your angels. You, I feel like we always need to protect ourselves, so I don't know about that. But we can protect ourselves by calling on our angels. Our angels are always there and they do protect us. But we can that get that extra support and guidance from our angels, right? If you feel like you have made a mistake or have something that you need to share, be brave and take ownership of it. Trusting that living in integrity will always lead you to the greatest possible unfolding of your life and know that the best gift that you can give to the world at this time. So the angels are really saying that you have a gift. You have a gift that needs to be shared that's going to take courage and bravery to share, to bring out there in the world. If you watch the message, um, the message for the collective, it was all about spiritual growth and the transits are to all talk about this massive change and using your gifts to because the we need your medicine right now. The collective is upgrading spiritually, I feel, and we're growing spiritually. And um, with that takes courage and bravery. So you have something special. You um, are planning to manifest something special in this world that requires courage and bravery. Let's see if we can get a little bit more insight on it. We have the two of earth and the nine of earth here. So the two of earth says too much is going on at once. You need to make a decision. Consider a more playful approach. Two of earth. Too much is going on right now. So where are you balancing? Maybe there's a lot of things that you're, you know, a lot of things that you want to manifest, you know, a little bit of this way, a little bit of that way. Too much is kind of going on, you know, like maybe a lot is going on in your work life, your family life, your career life. There's like, it's like you're juggling. You can't balance it all. You can't balance it all. Too much is going at once. But the angels are really saying it's time to make a decision. It's time to make a decision to choose to focus on one thing. And when you focus on one thing, it might be the scariest thing that you choose to focus on. But focus on one thing make a decision make a decision and be courageous and brave about your decision um consider a playful approach as well so knowing that you're armored up and that you're safe and you're protected go into your situation with a little bit more <sighs> relax sigh of relief knowing that you're guided and protected knowing that the angels got your back right you can find a little bit more playful approach so it's so that it's not so daunting my manifestors. The nine of earth also says, enjoy life's luxuries, spend quiet time alone, successful and self-employment. Enjoy life's luxuries. So you've done a lot of work to get to this particular point. Enjoy where you what you have created so far what enjoy what you have manifested so far even though you're you know you want to manifest more you're going into this next chapter what well, find a playful approach before you get into that chapter take a look around and look at all the luxuries that you've created for yourself look at all the self success that you created for yourself and i don't know spirits me really saying it's successful look at all the success that you created for yourself you could literally employ yourself and you could be sustained by what you have created for yourself yes it may take courage and bravery to step out on your own to do it yourself to maybe step out into self-employment if you feel like you know you're struggling between your side business and your nine to five spirits saying maybe make a decision as to where you should go and what you should do and see how much you've created for yourself and have the courage and have the bravery to step out there to do the thing and know that you're the divine is protecting you know that the angels are guiding and protecting you 
but you have your shields up and you have everything in place to make sure that you're well taken care of and you can trust that you're well taken care of and the angels are always saying also saying in the near future okay it's time to make a decision time to make a decision about what you want to do knowing that you can manifest all of the things that you've already created a su successful life around you but making the decision is important right now maybe not taking the action right now because it's saying in the near future your angels are saying in the near future so in the near future making the decision of that act of bravery and courage is coming Maybe not necessarily right now in this moment, but it's coming. It's coming for you in the in the near future. In the near future, my manifestors. And the sacred forest is also saying the guardians of the land protection. So again, this um, vibe of shielding and protection is really, really upon you this time. Because what I feel, my manifestors, you're getting ready to dive deep into uncharted territories territories that you haven't necessarily explored before that does take a lot of extra bravery and um courage right to create something new to build something new um so the guardian of the land is saying to protect yourself protection 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 let's read from the book and see what it has to say the spirit guardian of the land says you are safe and surrounded and protective shield I can't make this up <laughs> right? Shields up. You are safe and surrounded by a protective shield. You are not alone. You are not alone. You got your angels. Your life is guided and protected by higher forces. Within this, you can soar to great heights. Do not concern, be concerned about outside forces and judgments and expectations of others. You are protected in your energy field. This card appears when you need to take a step to protect your energy while your guardian land angels are helping you out you must also be responsible for your own well-being so the angels can help you out but you also need to be responsible for your own well-being and that's where the moon manifestation card the full moon and libra comes into asking you to find that balance find that balance between trusting faith and trusting the divine has you protected has you you know has your back but also waking up in the morning putting that protective shield against yourself reinforcing you know that protection you know when you go into a different situ difficult situation that requires bravery thank you angels for you know protecting me and shielding me from any harm that might you know um or ill will that might come towards me thank you angels and um spirit for guiding me into the right path that i need to walk there's balance right finding the balance finding the balance in knowing that the divine has is protecting you at this time and finding balance into creating your own personal boundaries for protection um and safety right now in different relationships because we have libra here so um in different relationships that you are maybe exploring at this time the road that you're going down at this time do you see this beautiful road that's leading them to this full moon in libra so i really feel like it's a relationship that you're kind of that's being illuminated to you now that might take a little bit of extra bravery and courage to say yes to this new relationship to this new relationship but spirit saying don't worry about it you know in the near future it's coming the near future is coming but in the meantime protect yourself and shield yourself from any negative relationships that might be attracted to you at this time and um your affirmation card is embrace. I embrace my healing abilities. You are a divine being and you already possess all the tools necessary to heal your mind, body intimately. Others can assist with this process, but ultimately the power is in your hands. Take time to identify any emotional wounds and honor the healing process starts from within, starts from within. So if you're watching this in real time, we have a lot of Chiron energies coming up this week. Chiron is, um, is active this week, asking us to embrace some of those healing. Um, and it's combining with um, Venus, which again, Venus relationship. So some of those woundings and some of those healings, embrace them, learn them, maybe learn a little bit more about them, learn um, some insights 
And from that insight that you get, use that healing of or that information that came up from exploring and embracing your healing abilities in your next relationship, in the relationship, in the thing that you're trying to manifest or that you want to um, move forward in this or the road that you want to get down, the relationship road that you want to head down to. From what you learned about your wounds and where you have been wounded before and how you've healed that, use some of that healing abilities, embrace some of that healing abilities in your next path, in your next direction, in your next relationship. And the high vibe card that I will also leave you with is, are you running for negative tapes in your head? You are the one in control of your thoughts. Just tell yourself, stop and get out of fear. You are the one driving the bus. Stop being the messenger and start taking control. Yeah, it's time for you to head down a new path or explore something or manifest something new, or maybe in regards to a relationship, maybe in regards to a career. Something is asking you to act, to initiate, to... Um, have the courage and bravery to do something. Know that it's not happening in the near future. Know that you have created already so much around you. So take stock of that and enjoy life's luxury. Um, be joyful on the next path as you head towards the next path. So keep in mind, um, you know, some of the luxuries and some of the life and some of the joy that you've experienced and know that it's happening in the near future and have your shields up and your and call on your angels to ask for um, assistance with um, the courage and bravery you need to do in order to act at this time. Let's see, are there any additional messages did you have for the manifestors during this time? Yeah, Five of Wands, Five of Wands and Ten of Cups. Yeah, that's what I was getting. Yeah, Ten of Cups with the relationship. Um, the relationship that you're calling in again yeah the seven of swords right here you just need to be careful because i feel like there's good coming at you and also negative energies coming um that might be in the ethers or around as well so where do you need to cut out the noise where do you need to kind of fight back to stand your ground knowing that there might be different things are competing for your attention where can you ground and where can you you know, just really stand in the moment and saying, okay, a lot of things are pulling me in different directions. Like I feel like this is calling me, this is calling me. They're all competing with each other. All of these things are competing with each other. But when I talk to my angels, when I guide and when I make a decision and find the balance, that is when I, I find true emotional fulfillment. That's when I find that, um, that's when I find that beautiful harmony in my relationships that's when i'm emotionally good in my relationships or emotionally well in the path that i'm heading towards right now is when um i can know and trust that i'm being guided and protected during this time i'm being guided and protected and because i'm being guided and protected i have the clarity and my shields are up i know nothing none of those deceitful thoughts you know are coming in my mind um, i'm able to discern which path i should go on um because i've asked for that assistance from the from god from the angels um so yeah the angels are are here telling you that you got this you know Something's happening in the near future, and um, there are some there's some great energies and there's some not so good energies. So keeping that shield, um, that purple bubble around you, is letting anything that's for your highest and greatest good enter, enter, and anything that's not leave. Right, keeping that shield up, keeping having the courage and the bravery to keep those shields and those protections up. Okay, my beautiful manifestors, sending you so much love. I hope this was good for you. If if you enjoy this message let me know in a comment below i don't know if there's a shield comment but if there's a shield comment go ahead and um whatever represents um courage and bravery to you go ahead and put that in the comments and let me know that you um resonated with this message so much excuse me so much love for you my manifestors till next time hello my beautiful generators welcome to your full message for this moment based on your human design type and uh, 
I feel this generator. I already started recording your video and I had to go back because I felt this heavily and a car came up. Cool your emotions because I felt it. I was like, I'm feeling like really emotional. And I had to go back. Oh, cool your emotions, full moon in Aries. That popped up last week. So you might want to go back if you haven't already to check out last week's message. But this same exact card popped up for you last week and it's popping up for you this week. So continuing a week of full emotions, full fiery emotions. But I feel like this week it's taking a different spin because we have here the message from the angels. The focus of the week is cool your, not cool your emotions, ease and grace, ease and grace, ease and grace. So my uh, generators, the angels are asking you to have some ease and grace at this time, to find balance, to find peace, to find harmony. I need to, um, in this present moment of chaos, is what I'm getting because do you see like around him like it's a lot going on a lot of fiery wild you know activated action but he's so centered he's so balanced he's so at peace and he's letting those emotions just like flow right to him it's really beautiful it's really beautiful so I'm feeling less fire and more water this week for you you are being guided to flow like water that's exactly what I said. Um, don't feel the need to rush or to force your way ahead. A gentle approach will always be rewarding. Have patience and move with subtle and grace. Your angel is your angel guide is encouraging you to see life as a dance. One step at a time, you will make your way through this incredible journey. Learning more and growing along the way. How can you move with more elegance? How can you slow down? How can you bring more grace and pose into the situation? This is a time to soften, breathe, and move in a way that is steady but flowing. This is information that may come as a surprise or even may challenge you, but your angels know it will be beneficial for what's coming next your way. It's beneficial for what's coming next your way. Finding, cooling those emotions down. I gave you a water ritual last week. Maybe you want to check that out to help you um, with cooling down some of these emotions around you. But right now the focus is once your emotions and once that heat has cooled down, where can you find ease? Where you can you relax and just breathe a little bit and find ease and grace in your difficult situation? Because you're going to need it because times are turning. The wheels are turning. Archangel Michael is here saying time for positive change. A situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side. So it may seem crazy. It may seem chaotic right now. But Archangel Michael is saying not to worry. Okay, find that ease, find that grace, find that pose because things are shifting, things are changing and fortune is on your side. Time to take a rest, take a vacation, allow more time to make a decision. Don't rush into things. Allow the time to be in this ease, in this grace, allow the emotions to flow. It's time to rest. It's time to kind of get away from everything right now. It's time to be alone. It's time to meditate. Meditation will provide you answers for air. Meditation will provide you answers. It's time to rest. Because there is great sadness. It's, it's time to heal. And while you are in the state of ease and grace and taking a vacation, taking maybe it's Maybe do a meditative, um, do a, med a meditation that is about easing with the water, you know, with water sounds in the background. Do a cleansing meditation. Do um, a meditation that um, maybe heals some of those past emotions. Do a cord cutting meditation. Any type of meditation to quiet the mind to um, allow this ease and grace to flow into your into your heart, into your space at this time, because there is great sadness. Take time to heal. Take time to forgive yourself and others. 
There's been some heartbreak over these last couple of weeks. Whew, I feel a heavy, a heavy heart. Are you feeling a heavy heart? The angels are saying it's time to heal. It's time to forgive yourself and others so that you can move forward. Don't stay in this place. Angels are saying take a new direction. Take a new direction. And we know the direction of positive change is coming if you allow it. Archangel Michael said it. The wheel of fortune, the wheel of faith are changing to in order for you to take a next next direction but it's only after you take time to pause you take time to meditate you take time to find that grace and po and poise and um find that grace and ease then find time to accept that's what it's all about message from the sacred force acceptance acceptance she's accepting who she is to me right here this looks like a natal chart to me Explore your natal chart. Look at the stars. Look at the moon. What can it tell you? What additional messages about natally can you accept about yourself? Look at your human design. What can you learn about your human design and how you were made? And where can you accept some of that love to allow you to flow into this new direction, into this new phase of life with more po poise, with more ease and more grace? 41. Create that structure for yourself now. Create that stability of accepting yourself now. Starry night. Let's see what the sacred forest has to say. The spirit of the starry night says, embrace your inner majesty. Accept life in all its configurations. Every moment has a profound value, even if it doesn't seem like it. Forgive yourself and others. How do we get that twice? Forgive yourself. I forgive myself and I release everything that does serve me now. I can't sing y'all, so bear with me. But that's the song that's popping up in my head. I forgive myself and I release everything that doesn't serve me now. Look at this song. I got full body chills, y'all. Ooh. I forgive myself and release. I'm going to put that link in the bio. Y'all need to listen to that song. Do a whole meditation around that song. Let the tears flow. Cry. Every time I hear that song, I want to cry. Because there's so much I need to forgive myself for. <laughs> and give myself grace for. And others grace for. And forgive others for. Listen to that song. Listen to that song. Accept all that life has provided and the harmony will ensure, will come. Accept all that life has provided and harmony will come. I think I could just leave it there, y'all. I feel that. I feel that. But I do got a little bit more, so let's get into it. Animals. Animals. High vibe. High vibe. Because you need a little bit of a high vibe after all of this heaviness, right? Animals are always at a high vibration. They are not concerned with life's details. So your cat, your dog, talk to a guinea pig, talk to the birds, learn from them. You don't have, if you don't have a pet, borrow your neighbors. I feel like a lot of these same cards are popping up again from last week. So it's just affirmation that it's a continuous, um, spirits really got a message for us as we enter these new, um, as we enter this new paradigm, I feel that we're entering. And your affirmation, setbacks propel me forward. Setbacks propel me forward. Maintain a positive attitude and keep going, yo. Make bigger, make your biggest setback your greatest comeback. Okay, all this energy right here, we're making it. We're changing the wheels of fortune. We're changing those tides and those fortunes. Changing the direction for our greatest accomplishment, okay? For our greatest comeback, okay? Think of yourself as a slingshot. The further you're pushed or pulled, you will generate more energy to suppress the previous position in life. Ay, bobo. 
I'm so happy for you because this setback is propelling you so much further to where you were when you first started, when the setback initially happened. I'm so happy for you. It's, it, it may not seem like it now. You'll be like, girl, what the fuck? <laughs> I feel some type of way. My heart is breaking. I have great sadness. What you mean? Setbacks propel me forward. Think of yourself as a slingshot. The further you are pushed or pulled will generate more energy to surpass your previous position in life. <sighs> okay, my generators, I'm sending you so much love. So much love. Is there an additional? I feel like that's it. If there's an additional message, as angels, please let us know. But I feel like that's it. Just saw the Queen of Swords. Yeah, the Hangman. That's it. The Hangman is letting me know it's done. It's we're enlightened. Okay, that that period of pause is just needed to get enlightened. So when after this pause, this period of meditation, you can walk. So enlightened, ready to surpass the previous place you've been. Okay. So much love to you, my generator. So much extra, 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 extra love to you. And put in the comments any type of water sign, any type of water, because we're flowing. We're easing into things with ease and grace. Okay. Sending you so much love. Hello, hello, my fellow manifesting generators. Welcome to your full in depth um, message from the angels based on your manifesting generator human design type. So the message from your angels, and I forgot to open the book to this, but the general man message from your angels is romance and connection romance and connection so what's going on what relationships are you calling in or are you forming or committed partnerships are you forming or coming into right now um whether it be a relationship with your partner with your coworker, with um your clients with your community with your whatever um the angels are really saying that yeah there's a bond and there's a connection that is really 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 going on right now we have the energies of jupiter and venus conjoining so bringing extra love and romance to those um connections let's see let's get into it what the angels gotta say the energy of romance is increasing in your life at this time if you are already in a relationship, this could mean that you have an opportunity to connect more deeply and share intimacy and love. If your relationship hasn't been the main focus or your priority of your heart for a while, your angels are encouraging you to make time for it. If you have a new relationship unfolding, there's potential for a new relationship to unfold. Angels will help you move forward with it now. Call on the divine love from the universe and invite it to open your heart and it will be received with interest and love. Whatever the reason for this card appearing, this is time for you to enjoy and to be enjoyed in a loving way. It's time for you to get loved up on, okay, my manifesting generators? And I receive that, okay? I receive that because that's what I've been working on as well. So it's our time now to receive that love, to receive that connection, manifesting generators. You might been producing, doing, and giving, and giving out all the love, all the love, and all the love. Now it's time for you to receive and to embrace the rom and the rom the the way that life is romancing you at this time, or the connections that are coming or are about to come up at this time. Um, spirits saying the angels are really saying that there's a lot of love and romance and connection around you at this time. And um, just looking at the cards, we have the three of fire, abundance. Things look very good. Um, have patience and make long-term plans. Okay, so for all this romance and all this connection and all this good loving energy that Venus and Jupiter is giving to us this week, you know, it's great. We feel the abundance. Praise God. We have a good, praise God. Or if you don't, you know, sending so much love to you as well. Um, you know, take this message with a grain of salt. You're a sovereign being. Um but the angels are also saying, have patience at this time, make long-term plans. Okay, based on what's feeling good, what's, you know, flowing, what's romancing us, what's encouraging us to make more connections, take note. 
and make plans. How do you want to manifest this? How do you want to have this relationship um, last a long time? Where can you um, find, um, you know, put in roots in the ground based on your values? So to make sure that sort of this relationship is sustainable, that it can last. And it's not just so quick, oh, beautiful moment of love and luxury and, and, and lust, but it's sustainable. It's a soul connection, right? The five of fire is saying competing goals, part of certain details, conflict with others. So there might be some different thoughts or different energies or different connections in mind that are competing for your attention, which is a good thing, okay? I mean, that ain't, that ain't bad, but I feel like we have the power to choose which one we want, which one we want, which goal we really want to focus on, which detail we really want to focus on. Because right now, all of the different options are competing with each other, but I feel like the angels are really asking us to like stream, streamline, maybe to focus on some of those energies. Two of water. Wow, lots of relationship stuff, my manifesting generators. A relationship that continues to grow closer, forgiveness, the positive resolution and conflict. So there might be a lot of different things, you know, like fighting for your attention, competing for your intention. But there's a, once you choose and once you define, it's like, okay, I'm going to stick with this. This is what I want. This is what I'm going to stand my ground in. This is what I'm going to go after. Um, the relationship once you've made that decision, the relationship can continue to grow. And whatever conflicts you had in the past, um, because you made certain decisions to and, and affirm that you want to move forward with this particular relationship, a positive resolution will come out of the potential conflict that might have happened with all the different competitive thoughts or um, maybe people that were trying to compete with, you know, maybe your partner's attention. All of those are kind of like, I'm, I'm focused on this. I, I'm, I want my, um, you know, my particular client. This is the client. This is the audience that I'm going for. I know that other, you know, maybe um, providers might be um, competing for their competition, but I'm trust. I'm, I have the faith. I know that my aligned clients will find me because of the special medicine. And I know our relationship will build and move forward in a positive manner. The King of Fire is saying, stay um, motivated, um, focused, focus, 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 focus. That is the message angels are saying is stay focused. Like we really need to get focused on what we really want at this time, Manifesting Jenner. Focus, focus, focus. Communicate with a vision. Be a leader. Advice from someone creative. So you're getting advice from someone creative. Maybe it's this message right here. Maybe it's the advice from the angels. Um um channeling through me for for this youtube channel um but the angels are saying now it's time for you to take that seat of your throne now it's time to be about it now it's time to focus now that you focused on what you really want it's time to go get it it's time to get it motivational idealistic and best ambitious and charismatic so communicate that vision be a leader and go after it the angels are also saying yes go after it go after it do the damn thing go forward move forward with that relationship with that partnership with whatever you are kind of like seeking to be more intimate with now yes do it go for it go for it and the wise woman of the grove um with grace is here so there is oh your heart is a gem do you see this i just really see this as a heart right so what I'm envisioning is like, this is our heart. It's been boxed up. It's been kind of like isolated. Maybe we've been getting to know ourselves a little bit better, exploring um, different things about ourselves, but it's kind of been contained in a box here. But I see this wise woman of the grove. I, I, I see a spirit, our angels, our ancestors really calling us now. It's like, okay, that heart can come out the box. That car can come out the box and see what other people might be connected or might be drawn to that, um, to your heart, to your heart center space. Um, right now, let's read the book on this. 49. What does the wise woman of the grove grace has to say? The spirit of the wise woman of the grove says you can relax and let go. Your path is guided. Spiritually, nobility is growing within you. The spirit of grace is softly unfolding in your life. Honor and honor the truth, 
Honor the truths of others, even if you don't agree. If you know better, the creator knows the truth. Grace can mean having enough inner nobility that even if you know your opinion is absolutely right, you don't push the point. You are willing to drop it, knowing that in a great scheme of things, it's not important. Besides, the creator knows the truth of the situation, even if it if, even if others doesn't. Don't. There are times that may be abruptly, starkly honest, and that isn't, and they may be talking outside of them. Be diplomatic and gracious in your interactions with others and speak with love and kindness. So Spirit's really saying with grace, give yourself grace and give others grace um, during this time while you're navigating these new relationships. Um, and be spiritually guided. Like Spirit's really calling to you, my manifesting generators. Um, the angels are really calling to you, asking, you know, wanting to connect with you, wanting to help give you grace at this time give you guidance at this time to help you with these connections with other people um so relax and let go and know that your path is being guided to the right relationship that you need during this time the full moon in the scorpio is saying breathe through any tension breathe through any tension that you might feel um you know going after these relations or really knowing that there are many different options out here, but really staying focused on what you want to focus on, on this particular relationship you want to focus on can be scary, can bring up some some tension with all of those other things that were competing for your attention. But <sighs> breathe through the tension, okay? Breathe through the tension, full moon in Scorpio. Sleep is the high vibe. Think of sleep as a way that you can reset your energy, restore your body. Every day is a new energetic day. Ask yourself, what if I slept like a baby and what if I woke up refreshed? So doing some sleep. Um, so make note of your dreams too is what I'm saying. Your ancestors, your guides, your angels might be communicating to you. I see that um, in conjunction with this um, card right here. Um, so I feel like Spirit's really trying to get message to you in your sleep. So keep a dream journal, make notes of any dreams that you're having because some additional insights are happening in your dreams um, in your near sleep as well. And know that you're surrounded by, surrounded by positive energy. I told you, Spirit's around, your ancestors are around, your angels are around. Create an environment for yourself that makes you feel strong and supported. Take time to personalize your face, space and find a place for each item, both home and work. By maintaining a physical space, you welcome an atmosphere of uplifting energy in which you are able to foster happiness, resilience, and positive relationships. So making sure your energy that you're calling in, the energy you're calling in, your space, your surrounding your surroundings are um, kind of mimicking the relationships that you want to call in during this time, if that makes sense. Okay. Well, that's all I have. Let's see if there's any additional message for my angels. Do you have any additional messages for my manifesting generators? Yeah, nine of pentacles. Good job. Well done. Job well done, my manifesting generators. Nine of Pentacles popping up here. Um, yeah, and the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I'll stop it here. It's just saying now it's time to reap the fruits of your labor. Now it's time to enjoy the luxury. Do you see how beautiful she's like ready? She's like, oh yeah, I've done all this work now. All the, the relationships can come to me. All of the aligned clients can come to me. I'm ready. I'm done this work. Oh, y'all are competing for my attention that's okay. That's okay. I'm discerning and I'm focusing on this particular relationship right now, right? She found the flower that she wanted to focus on, knowing that there's other grapes or flowers around her. She's found the one that she wanted to focus on right now. Why? Because she took time to speak her truth and to say and to discern, this is the one I want. This is the one I want. And I'm not scared to say that this is the one I want and I'm going to leave everything else behind. These are This is the line clients that I'm looking for. This is the relationship that I want to manifest, right? This is the romance. This is the way that I want life to romance me now. I'm speaking that. I'm speaking that out into the ethers. As a result, I'm able to pick that beautiful fruit and to know that... Um, 
this relationship. Yes, 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 yes. This relationship. So I'm sending y'all so much love during this time. I hope that this was helpful for you. If it was, go ahead and leave me. You know that heart emoji with like all the hearts around its face? Because you're you are got that love and romance connection. And I feel like life is romancing you right now. So go ahead and put that in chat. Like that heart with all the, that smile, that emoji, smiley emoji with all the um, hearts around <laughs> the face. Okay. So I'm sending you so much love. You already got so much love from your ancestors and gods and all of them damn and love from the outside. Um, but I'm sending you some more love, some extra love. So until the next time I'm manifesting generators. Hello, hello, my beautiful projectors. Welcome to your full in-depth message from the angels, oracle message from the angels based on your human design type. Message from you, for you, my beautiful, beautiful projectors is Mother, Father, God. Mother, Father, God. Mother, Father, God. So just before I even just read the message from the angels based on this card, I, um, whenever I see this card appears, um, you can see here her hand, her hand is kind of like reaching out into the ethers, into the skies, just like really just, um, seems like she's com trying to communicate with mother, father, God, with God, with the universe, with the stars or whatever. So whenever I see this card, I think of faith. So the angels were, for what I'm intuitively feeling is asking you to um, take a leap of faith into trusting spirit more, trusting the divine more. Um, and we talked all about this spiritual up leveling on the um, message for the collective. The message for the collective was spiritual growth. That was the in message from the angels. So for you projectors, I really feel like Spirit's wanting you to, um, the angels are asking you to call on them. If you're going through a difficult time or if you're going through a great time and you just need some assistance, some extra love, the angels are here for you to support you and give you messages and guide you. So let's see what the, open right to it. This card is one of healing and wholeness. Whatever stories you may have heard about God, being judgmental or, or be, oh, blah, 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 starting over, okay? This card is about healing and wholeness. Whatever stories you may have heard about God being judge, judgmental must be washed away. Divine energy could never hold a grudge against you for you are an extension of its love. The power of the presence of the creator are not only with you, but are within you. If you have ever felt that you aren't good enough or that you're being judged, or that you haven't been the best you can be, know that you are forgiven. Angels are with you today and can help create a healing wave between you and your divine parent. This card is also brings the possibility of parental healing. If you would like to clear up any difficulties, energies between you and your parents or your ancestries, know that the angels are ready to help you. They're guiding you through the world of the, through the eyes of mother, father, God, to remember that love can heal everything. Love can heal everything. So with this, again, this spirit saying, cut off anything that you he heard about God, okay? Build your own relationship with God. Build your own relationship to the divine, knowing that the divine and God is in you. God is in you, okay? And God is love. So that love is within you. Okay, healing, no matter if your parents didn't give you that love, no matter if society didn't give you that love, you know that God gives you that love and that God and that God love is within you. That divine love is within you. And um, I just think that's beautiful. No matter what you're going through, you are always connected to the source of your creation. Your angel guide is encouraging you to remember this now. Remember this now. Remember this now, my um, projectors. Um, the angels are also saying the world, Archangel Michael, job well done, joy and contentment and gratitude, a path towards enlightenment. So just remember that um, the, the first, God first and your angels first want to say, good job. 
give you some encouragement and just to say job well done. The world's changing. You are about to enter a journey to me. This is the world card. I enter my Metatron. So the world card, whenever it pops up, it's like the it's the end of the it's the end of the um, fool's journey in the major arcana the right away tarot deck so it's the end of the journey he started as the fool taking the leap of faith which is so interesting because that's what we started our uh reading with he started um from that fool to now the world and after the world from that journey and what he's experienced through that archetypal journey through the major arcana he's ready to enter into this new phase of his life right to this enter into this new phase enlightened and having some new experiences so job well done i feel like you've entered a whole new phase a new phase has is ending for you and a new cycle is beginning so job well done give gratitude to yourself at this time find the joy find contentment and know that you're being led towards enlightenment, being, being led down a path towards enlightenment. The Three of Water says also celebrate whether weddings, graduations, announcements are needed, need to have more fun. So yeah, the angels are really saying find joy during this time. It, it, it seems like it's hard, but find some joy, find some life, find time to celebrate, celebrate with community, celebrate with like-minded people, celebrate with your family, go to the water, go to the beach, do something to celebrate, graduate. This is a graduation. Celebrate this world, this new world that you're about to enter in the world that you and all that you've traveled before. Celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. If you believe, if you believe, if you believe, if you believe it's time, if you believe it's time, and Spirit's asking you to believe, they want you to believe in them. They want you to believe in the divine that's within you. They want you to believe your ancestors are calling for you. The angels are calling for you. They're asking you to believe in their power so that they can help shift some of the things that are happening in 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 and in, in assist you because our ancestors and our guides and our angels want to assist us help guide us but we have to call on them right so maybe it's the time to create an altar create an altar for yourself create an altar for your angels create an altar for your ancestors if you are watching this live, um, Buku Hoodoo, Chantrelle Lewis of In Our Mother's Garden, she's coming out with an Ancestors 101 course talking all about ancestor um, veneration. So maybe that's something that you might want to check out. I'll go ahead and um, link that below. But for me, I can talk about my personal journey. <sighs> the ancestors are always out here. I'm always reaching out and praying to the ancestors because they're always providing and God is always providing. Bonjay is always providing for me. Loa is always providing, you know? But we have to ask. We have to show up to, to accept that renewal, okay? So the renewal, the frog spirit. Let's see what the frog spirit has to say because I'm not getting too much intuitively from this. Oh, I'm out of breath, y'all. Okay, the frog spirit. The spirit of the frog says, be willing to release any preconceived notions of how life should unfold. This is the time to be adaptable. Be willing to change. Abundance and good fortune will follow. So yeah, be adaptable. The thing with spirit and divine, we might... <laughs> They say, if you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans, okay? That's the thing about the spiritual realm and the divine. They're here to assist. It may not come when we want it, but it'll be here right on time. I tell you, it's an on time, God. Oh, yes, he is. So know that God is always on time. It may not come when we want it, but it's right on time. And the renewal, the frog spirit is reminding us of this. Good fortune will follow. Abundance will follow. Time is to be adaptable. Be willing to change. Be willing to change. Be willing to switch it up, switch up your altars, switch up your, you know, if you normally pray to God, maybe explore, you know, asking the angels, switch it up. You know, um, if you haven't worked with your ancestors, switch it up, renewal, um, find different spiritual growth. Again, we're spiritual growth. Um, we're in this um, phase of spiritual growth. Wow. And I just look down here too. ask and you shall receive, ask and you shall receive. That's something that the reflectors is reflecting back to us. Um, but yeah, the, during the spiritual growth, find renewal. Find different ways to renew your spiritual growth now. Um, and yeah, Leo was saying the first quarter moon in Leo was saying, lighten up. This is not 
so serious all the time. God and spirit is not so serious. I found that out by Buku Hoodoo. Yo, I had the time of my life, yo. Time of my life in such a spiritual, profound space. We danced. We were shaking Okay, we were having the best time. So find places to lighten up through your spiritual journey. Yo, I just finished this amazing Jillian, and I'll make sure I put her information as well. This amazing um, striptease class for my damn self. But that was such a divine, like spiritual experience for me. Strip teasing for my damn self, like and learning different strip tease dances, like that was a way for me to lighten up in this kind of spiritual experience, right? And yo, you got so much support. Spirit and your ancestors and your guides and your angels are saying, Call out to me, my child. Call out to me. The universe is your biggest fan. They're your biggest fan. They're your biggest fan. Okay. Learn on the inner knowing that the universe has your back. You will be supported in your wildest dream. The universe wants to see you win, cheering you in every step. The vibrations you emit will reflect back into your life. And your high vibe message is to flow. The more you resist the current change, the harder the phase. If you hold on to the grass on the side of the river, I feel like this, oh, like this card has been popping up all Pisces season. Not surprising. If you flow in the middle of the river, the current is gentle, but if you flow easily downstream, wait, if you flow in the middle of the river, the current is gentle. You and you flow easily downstream. Aim the path of least resistance and go with the flow. Aim the path of least resistance, my projector. Go with the flow, okay? Ask your guys and your angels first. Yeah, just go. Just go. Just head towards this, okay? I got the fastest card in the Rider Waits tarot deck, the Knight of Swords. Open up your mind. Open up your mind to the divine, to angels, to divine support and assistance, okay? Because it's a whole new world. Again, it's in your hand. Whole new world asking you to explore, asking you to dive in. The messages are coming. Different signs and synchronicities are coming. Are you going to reach out and accept it? So much love, my beautiful projectors. Hope this is good for you. If it resonated, go ahead and leave a hand or any type of hand emoji just saying that you're, you know, accepting the divine support because they're wanting to give it to you right now, okay? If you believe, if you believe it's available for you now. The universe is your biggest fan. <laughs> so much love. Hello, hello, my beautiful reflectors. Hope all is well. Welcome to your full in-depth message from the angels on this current, for this current time and place. And your special message, um, my dear reflectors, is ask and receive, ask and receive, ask and receive. So this is beautiful. What I'm getting from this energy right now is to dream big, to dream big, to think big. Um, I feel like you're really contemplating and meditating on something and not sure when it's the right time to ask. But the angels are saying right now it's time to ask. Now it's time to receive it. Now it's time to receive it. You've been thinking about things for so long in the maybe dream realm, in the subconscious realm. And spirit saying, now it's time for you to receive it. Now it's time to receive it. You're ready. You're ready. Oh, okay. Let me not get ahead of myself. You may feel like the angel, like your prayers aren't being heard, but that isn't true. The angels have heard you and you're already suggesting to take time to assess where you need to work on your relationships or creating barriers for success. When you are open to seeing and doing things differently, you will experience the answers and miracles you need. You are being encouraged to pray for a space of gratitude now. When you pray from a space of gratitude now, when you focus on what you are grateful for, you are aligned with your energy to the miraculous. 
Heaven is encouraging you to welcome support in all areas of your life. So welcome and ask for what you want in all areas of your life because you've done that work and you've done all the work. Um, the angels are wanting to give it to you now. Um, the universe is wanting to give it to you now. Ask and you shall receive. When you begin to say yes to the experiences that light you up, you usher in increased levels of support into your life. So what are you saying yes to? What are you saying yes to? The moment you say yes, you increase additional support. So the six of earth is saying gifts of money. Is that what you're asking for? Okay. Gifts of money. Um, time and effort, new career opportunities, receiving a loan or paying off debts. So that's beautiful. So if you're asking for some money or monetary body or time or effort, um, or new switches up in your career, spirit saying ask and you shall receive okay ask and you shall receive so that's beautiful that's that's just gorgeous and the two of air coming up here is saying um card if you want to check that out the two of air popping up here is saying being unable or unwilling to make a decision a, st a stalemate pretending that there's no problem okay so are you kind of like going along to get along and not really maybe asking for what you want? You're just like, okay, this is my situation. This is how it's going to be. Spirit saying, ask in specific details what you want. Make a decision. Make a statement. Declare what you want. Okay, because we know this energy is around it. This energy is available. Asking. You need to ask so you can receive it, right? Make it clear, concise to spirit, to the angels, to the universe, to your ancestors, what you want, okay? And justice will prevail, Archangel Raguel. Fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your belief. So ask for what you want. Stand up for your belief and trust and know that you will get it because this is probably what the collective needs as well, okay? You're bringing justice to the collective. So please ask for you one so you can receive it, so you can share it and reflect it back to the collective. Because you're ready, yo, you're ready, it's time. It may be scary to ask for all the things. You may not be sure if it's time to make the right decision, but Spirit's saying, yep, go ahead, you're ready, it's time, it's time, now's the time. Now's the time to stand up and be that true divine reflector that you are, you're ready. You're ready for your light to shine, to radiate. You're ready for your insights to be reflected back to the collective. It's time. You're ready. All your chakras are lit, baby. Do you see this? All your chakras are lit. All your chakras are lit. All right. Go ahead and read this affirmation. Allow your harmonious flow of energy through your body by maintaining your balanced chakras. Utilize meditation, yoga, energy, healing, aromatherapy to assist to restore, restore any imbalances within. So I feel like you've already done that. You've done all the work to make sure your chakras are lit for you to stand up and for you to shine bright and to reflect the message that you need to, your special, unique message that you need to reflect in the world. If you need a little bit of extra courage, if you need a little bit of extra bravery, if you need a little bit of extra ease and poise and romance and connection, those are some of the cards that popped up for um, the previous manifesting um, human design um, types. Ask and you shall receive ask and you shall receive divine love is available to you now with the wild rose fairy of love wild rose fairy of love i love that open right to it the wild um the spirit of the wild rose says you are more cherished than you could possibly know open your heart to receive I'm done with you, Reflector. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I love this. I love this. I love all. I'm always love doing Reflector's reading because you just got so much medicine. So much medicine to share with us. Okay. Let me calm down. You are more cherished than you possibly know. Open your heart to receive love. You need to receive love. You need to receive love. Love is on its way to you. You are an eternal vessel of love to flow through. You are enough just as you are. You are enough just as you are. No time to wait. You are ready. Okay? You've made the decision. 
You're bringing justice to the collective. The abundance, money, time, effort, new career is available to you now. Asking you shall receive. Receive. Open up and get that love, my reflector. Get loved up on, my reflector. Your angels, guides, and spiritual guardians and allies adorn and cherish you. Only if you could see it yourself the way spirit sees you. You would know how profoundly and deeply loved and cherished and adorned you are. And that's so true. Be open to allowing the creator to solve your challenges in wondrous ways. Trust that everything is unfolding graciously and perfectly in your life. The opposite of fear is love. Allow fear to dissolve while love expands. You are so loved. You are so loved. You are so loved. You are so loved. Now it's time for you to receive that love, okay? Now it's time for you to receive that love. Attune to the details. Last quarter moon in Virgo. Attuned to the details. So in what ways do you need to show yourself love? In what in ways do you, do you need to take action based on what kind of has gone on during this, maybe this lunar cycle? What ways or what things, different things have popped up or bubbled up within you where you know, okay, now it's time for me to make a decision. Now it's time for me to tune to the detail. Okay, this is exactly how I want to receive love. This is exactly what I'm going to ask for. Details, details, details. Attune to the details is right under make a statement. Be willing to ask. Be willing to make a decision and make a statement. Okay, so tune to those different details to get super, super detailed in your ask for love, for what you want for um, in, in your life right now, for the relationships that you call, want to call in. Attune to those details. And the last card is high vibe attractions. Attract high vibes within yourself. Run around your house excited about love. Doing so puts the law of attraction in play. When you want something good to happen to you, mopping around the house and complaining will not get you closer. Get excited about something. Pretend to be excited about something. Raise your vibrations and make you feel good inside and naturally attract the high vibrational energies. Okay, my beautiful reflectors, I mean, that's it for you. That's it. I'm done with you because you're ready. You're so loved. You're ready. If any, nobody told you today, I love you. Okay, I love you, my reflectors. I love you. 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 Okay. Well, that's it for my man of uh, my reflectors. I've done each of the human design types and now I will close it out. Let's see if Spirit has any additional messages for us. Spirit, do you have any additional messages? Sorry, y'all, I'm just I'm tuning. Okay, no, no cards. Yeah, I didn't feel like there was. But I will leave you all with one of my favorite things to do, some bibliomancy. And this is from The Light is the New Black, a guide to your soul's calling and working your light. So like I said already in the beginning of this reading, as we're closing out this reading, we are in a space of spiritual growth, right? Spiritual growth. We're finding that light within us to work that light so we can exude that light out. And we got the messages from the angels, which are all about light and love and let's ask the angels one last time angels what message do you want to leave the collective with before we close out this reading aligning your light in order to thrive in a big way we are all meant to thrive by the way we must align our lives so that all the pieces flow in vibrational harmony we, when we are in alignment, everything in life flows. When we are out of alignment, there's feeling like something quite isn't right. If you understand the law of attraction, you will know that in order to create what you desire, you must become the authentic vibrational match of what you want to attract. Just like a radio that's set to the wrong frequency, it's impossible to pick up the indie tunes when you are sent to someone boring when you're set to a, a boring talk back, talk, uh, a boring show, boring show on the radio. 
Someone who is in complete alignment has aligned their energies, thoughts, and actions and words to be a vibrational match with what they want to attract. This is not about longing to be something one day rather than bringing your thoughts and actions and energies into words to complete harmony so that you're already are and you're wishing you already are what you're wishing to attract. If you want to imagine this, it is impossible not to call in everything that you want. The catch, however, is being committed to making a conscious actions daily that will bring you into alignment to the things that you want to bring in this world. Yes. And that's it, y'all. That's it, y'all. And a way to bring some of that energy into alignment, what you want to manifest in this world is through affirmations. Through affirmations, creating that type of environment that you want to that you want to manifest in this world. And I did this through the um, wellness workbook. I it's all about reprogramming and resetting your mind and being in that vibrational light of what you want to have, right? If I want to create um, a, a, a wellness matrix of me feeling and being well, I need to journey through the past, journey through the present, journey through the future, create affirmations, reprogram my mind and my consciousness to feel like, okay, this is not what I want. This is what I already am, okay? And that's what affirmations can help us do. So if you want that free resource, right in Notion, go ahead and check out the link in my bio and um, you'll be subscribed to my newsletter and be sure that you stay tuned because there's lots of new things coming out, lots of soul love offerings that I will be coming out, um, specific astrology 101 sessions with me as well as human design sessions and um I'm going to roll out a new offering, which I'm super excited about, which will be all about guiding you. I call my the tr myself the transition doula. I just finished up my doula ship training. And I'm not only a birth doula, but I feel like I'm a doula for transition. So for any transition, transitional period that you're going on through this time, I, as a transition doula, will be happy to take a peek and do the Virgo homework of your human design, of your astrology in this current moment, and pull some cards based on the tradition or the transition that you're going through to help guide you and support you during that difficult transition. So that soul love offering will be hopefully coming out during the Jupiter Venus conjunction. I don't know. Fingers crossed that it will. If not, make sure you're subscribed. Get that workbook below and you'll be subscribed to my newsletter and I'll make sure to let you know when it comes out. Okay. Sending y'all so much love during this time of change or transformation of spiritual growth. And if you like my vibe and want to connect with me, make sure you hit the bell. Um, subscribe to my channel. First of all, hit the bell. So you'll be notified when any of these videos come out. And um, yeah, until the next time, I'll see you later. So much love.